Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Games Badly. We're back here today with some more Night in the Woods. Uh, when we last left off, May and B went to the mall, had some fun. Bedtime! Uh, yeah. Yeah, so May and B went to the mall, they shoplifted, gave the stuff back, had some fun. And then they uh, went home. It was nice for them to catch up, something they haven't really been able to do. Uh, I'll leave a link up above. Uh, to the playlist if you want to go ahead and check that out uh, if you've missed any episodes as well uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh, if you're new I'd love to hear from you uh, tell me a little bit about yourself uh, where are we going I guess I'm going this way okay What is going on? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> this way? Hmm. I think I can get up that way. Let's go. kind of like this music, though. Is there going to be somebody here? Yeah. Playing the tubes. This way? But I was already here. So confused. Can I go this way? That just brings me back over this way. Okay. I guess we did all the lights too. Whoa! What the heck is that? A bear? Whoa, what? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, May? That was really odd. Weird dream. Good music. Weird dream. Eh, eh, eh. Good job, May. She wakes up pretty fast when I hit the alarm. Putting her shoes on. Uh, there were some messages on here the last time, I think. Uh, yeah. Hey, I got sick from the mall food. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. Uh, B. Morning. I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. She went born to the... Okay, we don't care about that. Alright, let's get out of here. No, we can't check our find self out in the mirror. I don't want to go back on the computer, May. God, you're addicted to whatever social media you anthropomorphic animals have. <gasps> I just remembered. 
Is it? Did he clear it? Dad! You said you'd move him, you jerk. What are you even thinking about in there? Mom time. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? No. What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one lake swallows a house or something. Well, go see it. See, t we'll go together. We'll, see we'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, Fort Lustine? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For ya, no shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Always finish a story with Mom. Now you've been home for a few days. Yeah? Have you thought about getting a ja... Well, gotta go, Mom. Heh <laughs> heh. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mom. Sweetheart. What an absolute gem. Alright. Oh, what a sh crappy day. Alright, nothing going on here, it seems. May Borowski, Selmers. Now, we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Luckily for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Oh, okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom and to Abby Krangler. Mrs. Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. I run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time, Gray got locked inside one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. He definitely would have died. Oh, well, yeah. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? I really don't want to hear your poem, Selmers. I'm sorry, dog. Oh, yeah. My cat don't like folks on the porch. I don't have a cat. It did. Alright. Not much going on in town today. It's a pretty gloomy day, it seems. A sinkhole, rain, very poor weather. We'll go up to the church to see Ma. Uh, but first, we'll take a run through the back end. I want to see that homeless guy up here. Is he not here anymore? Oh. Oh. So you're more of a drifter? Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course. Well, we just want to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? What do you think, Molly? Uh, uh, it's fine? Uh -huh. Alright, Bruce? Yeah? How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place, nice people. How long have you been in town, Bruce? You've been here for a while now, and I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least for a while. Got a whole thing going on here, Bruce. Yep. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. Well, we sure appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. Alright, troops, let's move out. Thanks again, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. No trouble. But, it's quite a setup he has there. Sure is. When I used to go to camp with my dad, it wasn't nearly that nice. 
Oh, really? We belong to a hunter's camp north of Possum Jump. My father's idea of camping was a bit more rustic. Quite a setup he's got. Has harmed anyone? Sigh. It's a toughie. Okay, so they... I have things to do. So they, obviously... He's a drifter and he's new in town. So they're like, oh. He must be the one that ripped off that person's arm. He must be the one who getting the people missing. I wonder if we can talk to old Bruce here. We can. Hello, I'm Mae Borowski. Hey, I'm Bruce. I don't say much. That's fine. I talk a lot. But I can, like, not... Bruce. Okay. Thanks, May. Just do a quick double check around here. We already looked at that. And then... We saw this and it won't let us jump off. Okay. So that was interesting. I was just expecting to see Bruce up here, maybe the pastor again. I wasn't expecting to see, you know, Aunt Mall Cop uh, and everybody else in, from the town. Uh, obviously, it is a little strange. You do have this random person hanging out here. Um, but, you know, that happens quite a bit. And it, honestly, as long as he's not harming anyone, maybe picking a little bit of trash around the neighborhood, who knows what he could do to help out, but uh, very interesting. Let's go talk to Ma. There we go. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They were locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The Old West was a very rude time. Howdy, partner. <laughs> ah, say, I ah, say, this is powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. Tarnation. Oh no, no more cowboy talk for you. Daggummit. I gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you. Is, uh, the pastor back here? Interesting. No. Maybe she's in the sanctuary if we're allowed to go in there now? Yes, we can. How about that? Love and peace. And joy. Hello. Hello. You're Candy's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? Kate. But most people call me Pastor K. You're new here, right? 16 months, something like that? Oh, new to me at least. Hello. 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 Do me a favor. Take that last hello. And give it to Bruce. Oh yeah, I met that guy. Oh good, Bruce is new to our community. Looks like he's been in the woods for a while. Only a few weeks, but being in the woods isn't really the same as being in the community. True. Is he cold at night? Ha ha ha, working on it. What a nice lady. Hi again. Hey, your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. You're not a churchgoer? I was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I like Sunday school. They'd give you cookies and orange drink. Is orange drink really the only name for it? Huh? I don't know. I'm realizing I've also been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. The drink that's orange. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing. Sing this now. Feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I hope you'll maybe come back some Sunday. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh wow, preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. Hey listen, you know, if you ever want to talk or have any questions about like God, sure. You can always talk to me. It's kind of in my job description. Okay. Thanks Pastor K. What a nice lady. I'm gonna be the pastor now. Members of the congregation, we are gathered here today to worship the almighty cat god, Meow Meow. And Meow Meow says, play with yarn. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Wow. Fantastic sermon, everybody. See you next Sunday. <laughs> That's church. That's how it works, okay? okay we've already talked to Bruce, so I'm not going to go see him again. Uh, we gotta go see B, and Greg is bored. Um, he may or may not be working, so we'll check that out in a minute. 
It's an old lady, fat pocket pawn. No. Telezoft. There's an owl person, town center family practice. There we go. The old pickaxe. I'm kind of feeling down and depressed in this episode. The weather has got to me, and I don't like it. Can I jump on your head and then up there? No, okay. Hey, BB. Hey, May. How's it going? Got a load of rock salt to move. Came in early this year and like a crap load of snow shovels. Usually the distro place does a goof up like this. Maybe it's run by weather wizards. Yeah, that's not a bad theory. So what's up? Want to hang out tonight? Uh, I'm working. If you want to like come along. Oh, I was thinking we'd go play putt putt out in Hunwick. May, that's actually not a bad idea. But sorry, got work. Ah, oh, jeez, what is even the point? Paychecks, rent, food, medicine, that kind of thing. So, do you want to come along or not? Uh, well, we hung out with you yesterday. Um, let's see what Greg is up to, because he is all alone. I kind of feel bad, like, it wants you to, like, build relationships with these people, but it's like, also, hey, you can't. It looks so sad when it, and empty when we're not playing in it. Um... Like I want to be friends with everybody, I want to spend time with everybody, but it doesn't seem like I can. Um, so let's see what Grego's up to if he's at work. We know uh, Angie isn't. And Snack Falcon. There he is. Grego. Hey, hey, May, May. Totally. What's up, dude? Was thinking about going to jail? You're like planning on going? Like you're afraid of going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape? I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Ah, oh, man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. <laughs> no, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You want to hang out? Yeah. Let's hang out with Greg today. I think it's only fair. Damn straight. Mechanics? Uh-oh. I gotta learn something. The bullet went clean through. You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that kill him? It must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah. Great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that helmet the fascists were wearing? Uh, no. Wrong war. A wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. I mean, I kinda did some last night. Oh really? Without me? Ah, oh, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. So what's the plan? Follow me! Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. Are you a deer? <laughs> I thought you were a wolf. Ranger cleared up. Weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la! F that car up, Private Borowski. So, you bought Romeo out here to watch me beat up a car? Yeah. Is this like the thing where people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Eh. So we need that battery out of this car. What for? That's the privilege info, Private. Stop calling me Private. I'm a general, at least. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree growing through it. So we're just beating it until the hood pops open. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yarr! Smash fascism. Ghost tiger vampires rise from the moon. Blood, give me blood. Excellent work. Thank you. I agree. You want to do the honors? Am I going to get electrocuted? 
Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but do you want to do it or not? I do. It's going to be another grabby game. Shoot, did we die? Sharkle! Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? You've always been a good friend, May. Every day you'd visit me. You'd remember to click me. Just say hello. Yes, I'm an excellent friend, Sharkle. Am I dead? Yes. Are you here to take me to the other side? Yes, as in the old legends. Your soul has been weighed against your transgressions. Oh, how did that turn out? Tonight you shall join your ancestors in the stars. Uh, could have gone better. Ah, oh, frig. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's off to hell for you. Dang. May Borowski, I declare thee danged. Oh well, you're in good company. Lots of folks been danged. I regret nothing. Hee <laughs> hee. What? Ha 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 ha. Dude. Ha 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 ha. It's Greg. Ha 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 ha. Ugh. Oh shit, you okay? I think I died. <laughs> yeah, I think I died, dude. How long was I out? Like five seconds. Oh, weird. I'm like, stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know what? Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. <laughs> totally misread that in my head. Um, and anyway, even if I was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it, so whoever's wearing it is dead. And I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit that it's a fascist helmet. No! I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so, wait, question. Well, shoot. What the hell is that? That thing? Yes, obviously the thing. Remember those big, like, robot cartoon characters they used to have at the food donkey? I do. Oh my god. Is that one of them? Are we going to put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing! Where the hell did you get it? You know, Steve Scriggins, the guy who locked that substitute teacher in the supply closet, drove little circles around people in the school parking lot. No. Definitely that one. That's something I would have done. Or may have done. <laughs> Dude, he was stuck in there over the longest night break. Survived by eating glue and Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. But he's been hanging out in the food donkey since it's been shut down, and he's dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda. It's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes, and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, that's not a phobia. That's one that makes sense, at least. <laughs> what were we doing again? <laughs> Oof, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I saw a shark, I think. <laughs> and he told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. Could have, couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. We're gonna die again, aren't we? <laughs> Jeez, that looks safe. Are you going to be all boring now just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. Some people have been dead like forever. Do, do you see them whining? Um, right? They either shut up and deal or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should have become a ghost? Yeah, carpe diem. Carpe diem. Carpe diem sounds like a fish. A fish that tells you to live your damn life. 
Okay, fine. What are we doing? Now this is the best part. We are going to put this piece together. Do you know how it goes together? Going to find out. Cool. May? Sorry. Cool. Ooh. Ow! Here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together and slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. All right. All right, so we're gonna do... I'm gonna put the head on here. Perfect. And then I'm gonna make this Lego here. No, this Lego here. Perfect. And then this Lego here. No, like that. And then I make you go here. Oh, wow. Uh, we're not anywhere close to being done with this monstrosity. Dude, dude, dude. Give me that foot. I don't like that there. You go over here. Alright, so I need to take these off. Yeah. And then add these ones in first. He doesn't need a full arm. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. So like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think? I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of, of a few years ago. Hmm. Like these days, I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? Uh, a year or so now? That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring? That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Why Bright Harbor? Yeah, why Bright Harbor? Oh, May, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, yeah, that's where I got a tattoo. What? Yeah. Is that a sheep? <laughs> is that a sheep? Yeah, mate, it's, it is. Yep, why a sheep? That's the tattoo goes like all the way hot and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Ah, uh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how about to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so, yeah. All we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh, ooh. I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do for my best friend back from the dead. Pizza party next time I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Oh, God. The side smells even worse. Hope whatever is living here is in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it. And glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. 
Push it, push it, push it. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Dang it. Yeah. You gonna see Sharky again? Nope. Nope. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah! Whoa! It lives! What the? I. Woo! 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 Hey, Angus! How's it going, May? Good, I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. Okay. Jesus. I freaking died tonight. Greg rules, okay? Alright. Pops, we're gonna talk to you in a second. Mommy's not here. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Try. I tired. I feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Uh, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. I mean, if this is going to help, you move those boxes, Pops. He's never going to do it, is he? Bum, ba, da, da, bum, bum. Garbo and Malloy. Aha, yes. Ah, you know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it. Gotta. You hear about this new law in the books? Pri pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison? Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> he has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand lar larceny. Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a WAPA! <laughs> Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. I mean... Alright. Night, Dad. Boxes. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm expecting my boxes to be moved. Let's just double check it. Yeah, he hasn't done it yet. So. Alright, so we're going to end this episode here. Uh, got to hang out with Greg today. We died uh, basically twice. Uh, we'll check our computer quickly, see if we got any messages from the gang. Hey, mate, you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are terrible, but if they were good, I'd like I'd actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just a local bad local bad like bad local commercial actors pretending to be murder to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best. Hey punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, touch my foot on frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. He, okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. Alright, dude, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Hey, May, are you alright? I was afraid you were really hurt. And you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. Oh, those are my messages. <laughs> Or Sharkle. Alright. We'll go to bed. Uh, thank you for checking out this episode of Night in the Woods with me. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye!